The New Orleans Saints, could they be a trade destination for Nikhil Harry? I, I believe the Saints are rather thin at wide receiver, admitting that, of course, Alvin Kamara gets a lot of catches. They're banking heavily right now on Traquan Smith, and I think that's fine if you want to hope he can be wide receiver too. But I want to have better options than what the Saints have right now at wide receiver three and beyond. I think Harry would be a pretty solid buy low option for this team. I think he could at a minimum compete with the likes of Marquez Callaway and Deontay Harris and Jawan Johnson and elite name Lil Jordan Humphrey. Look at what these guys did last season. Two of them caught 20 passes. That was Marquez Callaway, 21 for, uh, for 213. Deontay Harris, who has special teams value too, 20 for 186 and a score. Jawan Johnson, Lil Jordan Humphrey combined for seven catches last year. So the depth I don't think is particularly great for the Saints. So why not gamble on Nikhil Harry for what I think will end up being a late day three pick? Speaking of that, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. What draft pick would you be willing to give up for Nikhil Harry? Is it a fourth? That seems a bit rich for me. Is it a fifth, sixth? Do you not want him at all? Get your votes in for me right now in the comments section. Now, if you hadn't heard previously, Nikhil Harry has made it very clear through his agent, he's done in New England. The former first round pick who, if we're being honest and objective, has been a bust for the Patriots. He no longer wants to be a member of the organization and he is due about $3.3 million over the next two years. That's not bad from a contract perspective, but there's not going to be a massive demand for Nikhil Harry. I think there will be some, but his trade value, simply put, is not very high. In two years, as a first round pick, Harry pulled in 45 catches, less than 10 yards per catch, four total touchdowns. This is the type of production you would expect through like 12 games of a first round pick, even if they weren't playing great. Not over the first two years of their NFL career. And Harry made a big deal about, or at least his agent did when he requested a trade, that, oh, he wants more opportunity. Harry has been on a bad receiving core in the NFL. The Patriots have not had good receivers. Nikhil Harry, as the first round pick, was supposed to be the guy who made that receiving core better. The Patriots this offseason brought in Nelson Aguilar. They brought in Kendrick Bourne. Jacoby Myers has been a nice little surprise there. But it's not like Nikhil Harry's getting beat out by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers receiving core. He's getting beat out by okay undrafted players. So I don't think it's a lack of opportunity thing for Nikhil Harry. I think it has very much been a, he just hasn't been good in the NFL. Now some more background here. The Patriots reportedly shopped Terry before and around the NFL draft. They did not find a trade that they liked. And whether that was because there wasn't really an offer, period, or because they weren't getting the proper draft pick compensation back in exchange, they did not trade Harry. Now that Harry's made his public demand of being traded, his value is frankly down even a little bit lower. I think you're talking maybe a day three pick in exchange if you're late day three pick, if you're going to go get Harry, maybe a fifth at best, I think, if the Patriots are lucky. He was a former first round pick, but he has just not been good in the NFL. So make your predictions for me right now in the comments section. What team, if any, do you think Nikhil Harry will be traded to? Get your votes in the comments section for me right now.